where we tell stories, share our valuable advice, and share our college experience here at All Corn State University that will hopefully, hopefully help you with your college experience as well. Want to tell them what we're talking about today? Yeah, so now it's the time where high school seniors, they're applying and touring colleges. They're trying to find their perfect fit and their perfect home for the next four years. So we decided why not highlight our HBCU, so we're dedicating this video to you. So let's get into it. Let's hop in. Okay, so why, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Why did you choose Alcorn State? Why did I choose Alcorn? So, I'm going to be real. We're just transparent. <laughs> transparent. <laughs> so Alcorn was not my first choice. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought I was going to go to a PWI. Because mm -hmm. that was always like kind of instilled in me. Mm -hmm. My mom, she went to a PWI. She went to Mississippi State. And so I was always telling myself, I'm going to go to Mississippi State, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to go. So my school, we decided to do high school day. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to show us, like, HBCU. So we were going to Alcorn and Jackson State. Mm -hmm. So that weekend we went to Alcorn's high school day. So I was like, I'm going to go. I signed up to go. <laughs> and so when we got here, it was like, I see it was so packed up. It was mm -hmm. like so many kids here. I was like, what's going on? Like, I've never... I'll be real. I've never heard Alcorn up never? until mm -mm, I've never heard Alcorn up until I got here for high school day. Mm -hmm. So we go in the gym and I hear the band playing. I see all these different organizations, clubs, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, this is like a nice little atmosphere. This is this is cool. I like right. this. And so when we they let us come down, we went to different clubs, and I was like, okay. Like, it seems like it's like a family. Right. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Like, you know, <laughs> I ain't never just just really experienced something mm -hmm. like homey. Like, it felt like I was at home, like at a family reunion. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool. So then we went to the football game, and we started to, like, halftime. But I remember hearing the band play, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm acting like I'm a fan. I'm over here. Right, right. <laughs> like, everybody else. <laughs> like, this is lit. Like, this is cool. Right. And so then it really opened my eyes, like, well, maybe I need to look into Alcorn some more. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I was like, yo, this is, this is going to be for me. I like that. So why did you yeah. choose Alcorn? Okay, so for me, Alcorn has always been like a family school. My dad, he went to Jackson State, but my mom, mm -hmm. she went to Alcorn. She had some of her best friends went, aunties, uncles. So it always has just been like a family school. Like I've been coming here since I was a little girl. Oh, so it's in your so blood. It, yeah, it was just basically <laughs> in, in my blood. So it was like, I, 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 I got to go to Alcorn. So, yeah, basically, I, I mean, I fell in love with it when I started coming here as a little girl, you know, coming to, uh, to the football games and stuff like that, you know, tailgate with the family. So, it just felt like home, so I had to choose it. I definitely have to say, like, tailgating at a football event, all court football games, especially, yeah. like, a homecoming or, like, this weekend, mm -hmm. Jackson, all court. So, when Jackson is here, right. it's always, mm -hmm. always fun. It's going to be fun. So I don't know, just the tailgating experience. We experienced it. We experienced that too, though, when mm -hmm. we went, and we were walking around like the parking lot, and I was seeing so many different tents. I was seeing so many different people. I was yeah. smelling so many good food. I was like, oh my goodness. And that's one thing that I love about Alcorn. Having high school day is so important because actually bringing them here mm -hmm. and like letting them experience what we so experienced. Experience at that, yeah. That's 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 really dope, and I feel like that's why so many like high schoolers and younger kids come to Alcorn and apply to Alcorn because like. They done already got this chance to experience Just a little glimpse yeah. of what we get. So they be like, I might as well just go. 24 7. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. So, when you got here, what were your, like, what was the impact of, like, the teachers that you met so far? Okay. So, the, okay, major is mass communications, right? Right. So, when I first got here, I mean, we, I actually didn't have that many teachers. I mean, we took Mr. Sanders and... I'm not, I can't even remember if I took Mr. Terry, but Mr. Sanders, he was like a primary, primary teacher. Like, mm -hmm. that's all I saw him. I saw him every day. So when we first got here, it was like, it was a good experience because I didn't know that we had so, they had so much to offer to our department, like radio shows, commercials, bar, you know, stuff like that. I didn't know I was going to get into all this until freshman year. Like, I thought, you know, when he started helping us, 
getting us to write on the paper and stuff. I thought that we all did it do, you know. Right. I never thought like we'll be doing this talk show and stuff like that. So when like I got to, you know, learning more and stuff like that, I was like, This is so cool and yeah, I just I love it. When I first got here, like my idea of what I thought my classes would be, mm -hmm. I don't know why I thought my class would be like a different world. I was so stuck on like <laughs> having my college experience like a different world. Right. And so when I came here, I was like, oh, we're going to have like this little big class. Mm -hmm. We're going to have like this te teacher like Whoopi Goldberg, like she right. was in the episode. We're going to send them in a class, we're going to talk about like how we want, how we want our funeral, because that was like one of the yes. episodes. But, um, I was like, okay, so I'm trying to prepare myself, do it like a mm -hmm. mental thing. And so when I first got there, Sanders, Dr. Mm -hmm. Sanders, where our first teacher from Intro to Mass come, mm -hmm. and like, he scared me to <laughs> the first day. He scared, right? <laughs> yeah, the first day. Like, I felt like so intimidated. Mm -hmm. And because he was just saying like all these ex expectations, what we're going to mm -hmm. do, was what this class going to all be about. Right. And I'm like, okay, okay, we just calm down. <laughs> we gonna, gotta take it in. We're going to take it in. <laughs> And then slowly getting to know him mm -hmm. and like just his expectations and the way he wants things, like it's helped shape me into the person that right. I am right now. Like I'm always about my business. Mm -hmm. I'm always gonna be on my assignments. And I we did have Miss Terry for mm -hmm. um social media, yeah, social intro, media. intro social yeah. media. She helped too, like mm -hmm. with the blog post. I yeah. never thought I would ever do a blog. But just to know like our teachers because Alcorn is not a real big mm -hmm. campus. It's really small. So I love Alcorn because it's like family oriented like we're right. small so you have like that one-on-one like face-to-face -face contact mm -hmm. with your teachers and it's just like close so like, you build like a true bond right and they truly help you along the way mm -hmm. so that was one of my my big ones and i never would have thought i would do anything with commercials right. or a radio show or basically just have a to talk show out there. definitely gotta put yourself mm -hmm. out there put yourself like don't just put yourself in one box mm -hmm. you gotta go out there right so, since we're speaking on, you know, putting yourself out there and stuff, I feel like it's very important, you know, for the students that's, like, coming to Alcor and the students that are already here that really don't understand, like, get into these organizations, like, Definitely. apply to these organizations, MPEG, C100, Girls Coalition, or not, like, Men's Call even, like, stuff, just get yourself out there, do something, like, just don't wait around and just waste your college experience. Definitely. I encourage everybody mm -hmm. to get into an organization because these are going to be the people that you have for the next four years. Right. And they can make and break your mm -hmm. college experience. And the more people that you get to know and, and, and that you bond with, mm -hmm. the better your experience because right. you're going to you're gonna remember these people along the way. And they help shape you into the person mm -hmm. that you are. And you never know, these people that you meet, they may be your boss. Next, mm -hmm. like when you get out of college right. you need a network and make sure you don't burn any bridges while you're here mm -hmm. and so that's another big one is, is to make sure you network when you come mm -hmm. here because different like definitely during like homecoming season during tailgate you meet so many different business people so, yeah. and it's like wow like mm -hmm. this this person can give you your job right and so I definitely say get into an organization, mm -hmm. apply, and even run for different positions mm -hmm. because that can help you. You need that type of stuff on your resume, try to get into internships, right. and just like for your job. So I definitely say yes. jumping into that. That's definitely a must. Um, when I first got here, I wanted to, I was so big on like running for like Miss Freshman or Miss mm -hmm. Lockhart stuff, but I never put myself out there to do it. Like, I don't know why, but I was just always so scared to just jump for that you know take that leap but you know junior now doing all these big things i feel like hey i can do whatever this guy's the limit <laughs> i know that's right when i first got here i'm not gonna lie i was in a shell because i guess i was like sheltered and mm -hmm. i was so used to like my small town so right. come to Alcorn your freshman year you're kind of like this is like a big little mm -hmm. this is a big town and then listen we're in the middle of nowhere, so Literally. there is you. You gotta, you gotta get used to it. You definitely do, and I, I can say that I truly like self doubted myself in the beginning of my abilities that I mm -hmm. felt like I had, but I was so scared to act on them. Right. And I can say like my sophomore year, that's when I stepped out of my mm -hmm. shell, and I was like, okay, like you know, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. And I, I put my best foot forward, mm -hmm. and I was pushing myself like, Rich, you got right. it, you got it, you got right. it. Don't self-doubt yourself. I know that's right. And just being around, that's what coming, like, meeting different people mm -hmm. and being in different organizations. Like, I can say Girls Coalition helped me a lot when yes. I was the adopted freshman. Mm -hmm. I met a lot of people that I'm still friends with mm -hmm. to this day because we were all the same type. We were all freshmen mm -hmm. coming in together. Right. And so we were like, okay. You know, we gotta we ha we gotta kinda help navigate each other with each other right. how we gonna get through college mm -hmm. and then meeting your college clique, your mm -hmm. college friends.
that's going to help you navigate too. So never just put yourself in one box of like who you want to be friends with because you're going to meet all kinds of different people mm -hmm. here at Alcorn or just at any college in general. And so it's going to be people that you never thought you would be friends with. And I can say opposites do attract. They and do. They do. and you'd be like, I never would have thought. Yeah. And those those be the same people that push you out your comfort zone to push you to be the be the yeah. best person that you know you can be or the person that you're destined to be. And that's what I can definitely say. I met people that I never in my life thought I would ever cross paths with, and they put me, they pushed me to be the person I'm destined to be. They pushed me out of my little shell. They're like, Rich, you got yeah. you got to have confidence in yourself. Yeah. If you, I can have confidence in you all day, mm -hmm. but if you don't have confidence in yourself. What what can you really do? And it's factual. That is very factual. I can definitely say that. Yes, ma'am. So, I want to jump on another topic. Since we're, you know, talking about our HBCU and our experiences, what is your, what are your goals like for when you leave this, you know, this school, this HBCU? Like, what do you plan on doing? Okay. And that's so important to think about. Yes. Because, you know, you're a junior now, and then you only got really another year and to think about let me, it. And let me stop you before we get to the end to that conversation. Girl, freshman, sophomore, junior, these years were by fast. Girl, we're so juniors. Weird. We're juniors. <laughs> we're going to be senior. We're going to go. Like, yeah. This one's not too fast year. for me. Yeah. Like, I'm, not I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. If I can stay longer, I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Girl, we got to get right here. We got to get to the bag. Got to get to the greater. Right. Got to chase it now. <laughs> but my plans are, after I graduate, I want to work at a new station. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna be, I'm probably going to start at the MJ. Right. And then work myself up. Work mm -hmm. my way up. But... I feel like that's definitely important to talk about yeah. because a lot of people, your your junior senior year is very crucial. Yes. You, that's when you need to be trying to get internships and you need to start working mm -hmm. within your field of work. And what like you want to some do. people are like, I know some students don't understand. They, I, you know, I teach you just to tell us, you know, we prepare y'all for the real in high school and stuff like yep. that. And like, this is not like junior year and uh, senior year in high school. Mm -hmm. and you just have to apply to college and to get in. Right. This is you, your junior and senior year, looking for a job, looking for a house, looking for anything. You could go what out of the real world. Like you, right. you grown. So you, yeah, this is very crucial. But that's my plan. What is your plan? Okay, so. I hope, and I really do hope, to pursue anything like an internship. And I don't care. As long as I'm starting at the bottom, as long as I like got this job at the you new station, anywhere, I need to start somewhere. And I'm hoping to continue to get my master's at William Carey University. Okay. I always wanted to go there. Okay. And they wanted me to come before I came to Iowa. But I was like, no, nah, I want a little HBCU experience first. So gotta have an HBCU I got to go there when I leave here. So, yeah, that's basically my plan. I love that, and I pray it all works out for the both yes. of us, and we can come back and we can talk about it. I know that's right. <laughs> so, y'all, that concludes our show. Thank y'all for tuning in to Air It Out with your favorite girls, and we can't wait to see y'all again. See y'all next time.